I can remember times when I was a kid, man, my father would beat my mom's ass so bad, man. And I can remember a time he was trying to light her on fire in the house with gasoline, right? And he, he decided to shut us in the room. I was probably six years old, man. And um, mom was sitting there laying helpless, covered in drenched in gasoline. And I had to tie sheets around, man, like a damn movie to a damn bedpost in there and climb down the window to run to a neighbor's house and call 911. And those were the things that I grew up doing all the time, man. Um, and so those things don't play a, a direct role in law enforcement, man, but they really, really do, man, because that kind of life experience is not just something, you know, if that counts, dude, that's 15 years, that's 15, that's 18 years, man, of what, you, of what you've seen um, and, and done and dealt with. And, you know, I, I just think, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm thankful. I had to learn when I got older, man, to let those things go. And, and I've made peace with those things. And, and it's hard for some people, man, to do that. But I made peace with those things. And, and I realized that if it wouldn't have been for all that shit that I went through, I never would have been where I'm at today, man. And that's what gave me that drive to to want to work harder, push harder, want to be a chief one day. I always told myself, man, not only do I want to be in law enforcement, I want to be the chief of police one day. Never in the hell would have thought it happened as early as it did. But it was a goal.